Why does it matter which side you sleep on? It turns out that the position you sleep in can affect much more than just your morning back pain. Your sleep posture can impact musculoskeletal alignment, digestion, and even neurological function. So let's dive into the science of sleep position, because it turns out that sleeping on one side of your body versus the other can have some profound effects. We'll talk about what those are and why it matters. Stick around. Today we're answering the question, should I sleep on my left side or my right side, or should I sleep on my back? This question was actually posed by a viewer, and there's a lot to unpack here. So let's dive into the science of sleep and position and why it can matter. There are multiple reasons that sleeping on your left side may be preferable to sleeping on your right side. One of these reasons has to do with what's called the glymphatic system. The glymphatic system is a term used to describe how our brain clears out waste while we're sleeping. Specifically, it's been shown that sleeping on your left side may enhance the clearance of certain brain chemicals like beta amyloid. Beta amyloid is a protein that's been implicated in the development of Alzheimer's disease, so enhancing the glymphatic clearance of this toxic protein may have significant long-term health implications. This research was published by the Nettergaard Lab at the University of Rochester in 2013, and they found that mice who were allowed to freely move around their cage while sleeping on their left side showed increased glymphatic clearance compared to mice that were in the same situation but slept on their right side. While it's difficult to generalize these findings to humans, it does suggest that there may be some truth to the adage that sleeping on your left side will improve your brain function. In addition to improving glymphatic clearance, sleeping on your left side also allows gravity to assist in moving food through your small intestine. This may aid in digestion and reduce symptoms of acid reflux or GERD. In fact, studies have found that patients who had difficulty swallowing, particularly those with achalasia, were able to swallow more easily when positioned on their left side. These findings were published in the American Journal of Gastroenterology in 2000 and suggest that the position you sleep in may have an impact on your digestive health. And then there's the heart. Some research suggests that sleeping on your left side may be better for heart health, particularly for those with congestive heart failure or CHF. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine in 2003 found that patients with CHF who slept on their left side had less congestion an improved quality of life compared to those who slept on their right side. In addition to all of these benefits, sleeping on your left side during pregnancy is often recommended as it improves blood flow to the uterus. Kidneys and fetus, while reducing pressure on the liver, this can be helpful for both mother and baby. So the next time you're lying down for bed, try switching to your left side and see how you feel in the morning. So the research seems pretty clear that sleeping on your left side a number of potential benefits from improving digestion to reducing the buildup of toxic proteins in the brain and even improving heart health. But what about sleeping on the right side or on your back? Is there any downside to these positions? Well, while there's no clear consensus on whether sleeping on your right side is better or worse than sleeping on your left side, there is some evidence to suggest that it may worsen symptoms of GERD or acid reflux. In fact, a study published in the American Journal of Gastroenterology in 1999 found that patients with GERD who were instructed to sleep on their right side experienced an increase in symptoms. Additionally, many people find that sleeping on their back makes existing sleep issues like snoring and obstructive sleep apnea much worse. In fact, a study published in the Sleep Journal in 2003 found that patients with obstructive sleep apnea who were instructed to sleep on their back had an increase in apnea events compared to those who slept on their side. It turns out that there's no one-size-fits-all answer to the question of which side you should sleep on. Ultimately, it's up to you to experiment and find what works best for you. However, if you're struggling with sleep issues like insomnia or sleep apnea, it's important to talk to your doctor, as there may be other factors at play that need to be addressed. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with others and like and subscribe. Doing so helps spread high-quality sleep education. Don't forget to check out the website for more information on sleep in the brain. Thanks for watching. This is the doctor. Remember, sleep tight, because good sleep is just the beginning of a great day. Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for educational and informational purposes only and is not intended as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of a qualified healthcare provider or sleep specialist with any questions you may have regarding a sleep condition or sleep disorder. 
Individual results may vary. Thank you, and see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.